What's going on you guys? We just got back to the studio after hanging out with the perfect pair at Lake Havasu. We got to go on a sick ass speedboat going 150 miles. That was an insane experience. While we were there, we picked up these Legend of Summer Air Jordan 3s. These are the only size 12 in existence, so I can't mess this up. We're gonna start off by taking out the laces and insoles to get this restoration started. These insoles are in there pretty good. I wanna rip them. <laughs> start this restoration on a bad note. <laughs> rip, the, rip half the insole. Simply what we're gonna do using the eraser is erase dirty marks. Just gonna go back and forth with the brush and the eraser until it's all cleaned up. For this, it's gonna require a lot of patience. Let's get started. So far so good with the red suede. It's looking a lot better. There's still some stains here and there and it's still pretty faded. We still have a lot more work to go on the suede, but for now, we're gonna jump to the insides. We're gonna start off by using our suede brush, our soft bristle brush, and our vacuum. We're gonna brush the insides and then vacuum all the debris out. All the using the suede brush kit, this suede looks a lot better, you guys. It's pretty faded, but that's the point I was trying to get it to. I was trying to get rid of all the stains and marks. I think I did a good job. The red's back to being vibrant. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is continue this cleaning. On the bottom of the soles, they're still pretty dirty and the midsoles. For this process, we gotta use solution and some brushes. We're gonna be very careful not to let any solution or water drip onto the suede, cause that'll ruin it. For this, we'll be using our essential shoe cleaning kit, all three brushes, our 16 ounce bottle solution, and our cleaning mat. Before I was able to go in using the stiff bristle brush to clean up the sole, I had to use my pick to get rid of all the little rocks and junk. Now, we're onto the stiff bristle brush to get the sole cleaned up. Again, we gotta be very careful to not let any water drip onto the uppers. Soles are all cleaned up, now we're onto the midsoles. For this area, the main dirty part is the air units. It's covered in dirt and debris. For this, we'll be using a medium bristle brush to get it all cleaned up. Once again, we gotta be very careful with the uppers. Shoes are all done for now. Our next focus is our insoles and laces. For the insoles, they are super dirty. They have footprints on them. We gotta get them back to as white as possible. Before we start cleaning them, we're gonna hit them with the lint shaver. All right, all done with the cleaning of these laces, insoles, and shoes. The next step we gotta do is put both of this stuff into the washing machine to get a thorough cleaning. When we come back, we'll continue the restoration. All done with the cleaning, our next focus is the midsoles. Before we can repaint them, we gotta do some prep work. On this side and over here, we got some pretty deep scratches. Before we can lay down the new paint, we gotta smooth those areas out. We'll be using some sandpaper. We'll be using 400 grit, 600, 800, 1000, and 1500 to get it as smooth as possible. We're gonna take a quick break from the shoes and focus on these shoelaces. Originally, these shoelaces are supposed to be waxed, but after I washed them, all of that wax got washed out, and even before that, they were already in bad condition. So for this, we gotta restore them. We'll be using some paraffin wax, 
lint shaver, a lighter, and a heat gun. First, I'm gonna grab a lint shaver, clean up all the lint off the laces, and then with the lighter, we're gonna burn all the frayed areas, and then we're gonna finish it off by hitting it up with some wax. All right, you guys, we're all done with these shoelaces. Bear with me here, I'm losing my voice. We just had a big casino company party and it was nuts. For the laces though, we just used some wax and a little bit of heat and we got the job done. I also forgot to show you guys these insoles. Originally, they had some big ass footprints on both of them. Now they're back to white using some rejuvenator products. Use my promo code down below to save some money. Now let's focus back on these shoes. For the midsoles, we gotta get them repainted. They're not too bad, but they need a fresh coat of paint. We're gonna tape off the soles and uppers to get ready for that. Good to go, let's move on to this midsole repaint. For this, I mixed up some fire red, red, and a little bit of bright red. Real easy mix. For this, we're gonna lay it down using my airbrush. Now we're on to the hardest part about this whole restoration and honestly the part that I'm most excited for, the red scales. This is something I've never done on camera but I know I can fix it. We gotta use some red hot foil and a soldering tool. Up close all around these panel areas, there's a lot of areas where that foil just flaked off. It's straight up black, it looks super ugly. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out little pieces all around and then with the soldering tool, we're gonna bump it up to about 325 degrees and simply we're just gonna lay down all that hot foil until the whole shoe is complete. This part's gonna take forever, so let's get to it. Good to go with that step, you guys. That literally took forever. That was about a day and a half worth of work, but it came out super sweet. I know Kenny's gonna love it. Now we're on to the last step of this restoration, the suede. I already took care of the cleaning in the beginning of the video. Now we gotta bring back the original red vibrant color using some Rejuminator mink oil. Simply what we're gonna do is apply the mink oil onto the suede. We're gonna give it a couple of coats. We're gonna brush it in as well. We're gonna repeat this process until we get the original color back. All right, you guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on this restoration on these Legend of Summer Air Jordan 3s. This is probably one of my favorite restorations that I've done just because of all the different restoration elements I incorporate on this shoe. Starting with using a rejuvenated dry suede kit to bring the suede back to life. Originally, this suede was pretty stained, had smudges all around. We were able to get all that stuff off simply by using our brush and eraser. Once that was good to go, we moved on to other parts of the shoe, such as the midsole repaint. Again, it wasn't that bad. We just had to go in, do a little bit of prep work, and refreshen up the paint. We matched it on point. After that, we moved on to the shoelaces. This is another step that I've never done before. I had to re-wax them because that's how they originally were. After a lot of wear and tear over the years and washing the shoelaces, all that wax got washed out, so we waxed them and it turned out great. 
The most tedious part about this whole restoration though was the scales. Again, this is another step that I've never done before and I was really excited. We laid down some red hot foil all around using the soldering tool. I was excited to do it, but at the same time, after about 10 hours using the soldering tool, I was kind of over it, but the end result came out great. And lastly, we used some Rejuvenator Mink Oil to bring the suede back to life. You can find other products at Rejuvenator.com. Now it's time to return these to Kenny G. I can't wait to see his reaction after he sees these. Stay tuned for next Monday, where we go drop these off and check out his entire sneaker collection. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.